What's going on, everybody? This is Adam from BodyMorphPros.com. We are at the MPC Ironman in Chicago, Illinois, and I've got myself with me a bikini class D competitor, Miss Stephanie O'Brien, all grins and all smiles. How you doing after getting up there on stage this morning? I'm doing good. I'm feeling better now that I had a little bit of food and some water. <laughs> Did you get a little meal in there between yeah. the uh, between shows? I may have had a donut or something like that. I'm not telling Stacy. I won't tell her. <laughs> I won't tell. We'll keep it a secret. We won't I'll tell your coach so she will never find out. Um, after getting up on stage, how did you feel? Uh, as you know, compared to your competition, as you're eyeballing the other girls, things are getting moved around. How did you feel the judges were seeing you? I felt pretty good. I mean, I'm not used to being in a competition this big. Yeah, so I mean, you only how many girls were in your class? Like thirty thousand. Three thousand and twenty-three. Yeah. yeah. So I was surprised that they split it up into three right away. It made it a little more stressful, but I think I did really good. I got second call out, so I'm really happy with that. Good, good. Well, hey, between the last show to now, um, well, give us a little bit of uh, history on your competition history. Uh, what are some of the shows that you've done being in the past? How has things gone for you? You know, let's talk about that a little bit. My first show was uh, the NABA show, um, the Chi-Town Showdown. And sure. that was two years ago. Okay. And then last year I did the... Uh, what was it called? Uh, the, 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 the NPC Continental? Con no, it wasn't that. The one in the spring? The spring. The uh, spring out of Mid Illinois? Mid Illinois. I, I did that one. That's why I'm here. That's why yeah. I'm here. I got you. Thank you. Got thank you. you. <laughs> um, I did that one and I got first in my class. I right. felt really good about that, but right. a lot smaller. There was like seven sure. people in the sure. class. Sure. Sure. But I feel like I've made a lot of improvement. I got a lot leaner. I mean, I've built that, built some muscle. Sure. So. Well, I mean, I can even tell, even right here, I mean, your shoulders are capped out more yeah. than before. What were some of the things that you were trying to focus on yourself um, from that show even to now? Like, what are the improvements? You're always trying to get better, of course. But you specifically, what were the things that you look at and go, I want to have a better this, better that, yada, yada, you know, that kind of thing? Of course, bikini, glutes, and yeah, hands. Somewhere back there? <laughs> Somewhere All back around there. back here. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, I focused on that mostly. My lower glutes is sure. what I really want to tighten up. And I think I made a lot of improvement. I still have more improvement to make. But right. That's what I was going to ask. Are you, are you finding that uh, from the work that you're doing that you're able to emphasize those finer points and yeah. whatnot? You're actually yeah. able to get them out a little bit more? I have. I, I think I've built a little bit down there. And uh, I feel more comfortable with it. I'm just going to, this off season, I'm still going to try to build a little more muscle lower. I think I got yeah. the upper body, but yeah. Yeah. lower body, I got to That's where you got to get it in more it personally up. for you. That's yeah. where you got to get it. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll talk a little bit about your prep here. Like, well, one, who's your coach? Give a little shout out recognition to your coach. I actually don't have a coach. She doesn't have a coach at all, so I guess <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. I have um, a posing coach, though. Well, who, 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 that was Jill okay. um, from Posing Perfection. She's okay. from Joliet. Okay. But I did my own diet and exercise. Do you do you think that, do you find that to be any more difficult uh, doing it on your own versus having someone having that extra set of eyes to check in and say no do this or is it more your speed is that more your style do you like it that way I liked it better alone because I did more what went with my own body sure. and like if I needed carbs I did it if I needed sugar or whatever I did it. And I, no one was going to get mad at me. <laughs> right. So that's so, what I so like about thinking, it. I, I need some sugar. I, I won't tell coach. Wait, I am coach. Screw it. I'll take yeah. some. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't good. go crazy, but yeah. it was good to be able to just listen to my own body because sure. a coach doesn't know my body sure. particularly. Absolutely. So I think I liked it. I mean, it would have been nice for, like, if I had certain questions, it would have been nice to have someone kind of backing me up. But I, I'm glad I did it alone this time, figured okay. it out myself. Okay. I feel like how, I learned more. How long of a prep did you take? Like, how much time did you really start thinking, hey, Iron Man is on my list. I'm going to start getting ready here and then dial it up. Yeah, how, long, how long of a prep did you well, take? Well, technically 16 weeks because I was planning on doing the Ottawa show. Sure. But then I decided not to do it. So then I took... Woo! Roll on through. We're good. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Well, I got you. I got you. I took... I took a <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Spears. <laughs> I took um, like a couple weeks off, so I really only had six weeks for this prep. Sure. So. Wait, 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 wait. But, but you kind of had started already. I started and it. then kind of backed off and then went back into it like yeah. six 
six weeks ago. What made you kind of say, eh, let's skip the Ottawa. I don't really want to give it a... What, what made you... I'm just curious. I got to know. I felt like I wasn't happy with my prep. Sure. I, and I, I didn't want to, like, a lot of people are, like, miserable during their prep. And I was right. like, I'm not going to do a prep if I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to be happy. I want to be want to do it instead of right, feel like I right. have to do it. So you want to like, stop looking in the mirror and go hell yeah. Yeah. Versus exactly. I don't know if that's what I want to take to the stage just yet. Exactly. Okay. And this week I looked in the mirror and I was like, you're yes. feeling up better. Hey, I gotta agree with you though. I mean, well, hey, yeah. for starters, for those that want to follow you, find you Instagram is a yes. way to follow you. I mean, and you do yeah. have lots of progress photos I up do. to coming up to the stage. Give a little shout here. What is the, uh, how can they find you on Instagram? It's SL O'Brien um, on Instagram. No no numbers or anything. <laughs> and that's where they can find you for any type of motivational stuff, inspirational yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, go ahead, give her a follow, give her your support. She'll give it back the same as you give it. So, I mean, you're a fun person to follow. I, I follow her, I must he admit. Does. He writes I must admit. <laughs> so, I mean, it, you're, you're a fun person to follow. Whereas, yeah, you're funny, you do, you still have some fun things, but you give it back the exact same, which is always kind of cool when you can interact with a competitor uh, that yeah. way. I um, love it. I've met so many people through Instagram. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Like, this awesome guy. Anyways, so moving forward, what are you thinking? Of, what's on the next show on the horizon for you? Where, where can we see you again after this? I don't know. I'm thinking in May, sometime May, something like Spring that. Time? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. haven't got one picked out yet? Just going to? Not quite. Okay. We'll wait a little bit. Yeah. See, see how much time I need. <laughs> well, you want to give any shout outs or recognition to any of your support staff, those who have helped you along the way, put up with you, dealt with you, that kind of type of thing? Who's, well, my who's mom, been there for she's you? over there. Sure. She definitely dealt with me being you real think, cranky. Mom. That's good. That's good. Really cranky every night when I uh, need some chicken, she'll make it for me. So that was always nice. And they make you hold that big box of donuts too sometimes. Yeah, she did. That's cold. She did make me hold a box of 12 donuts the other day, but I lived. You look so sad. Look <laughs> I was so, so sad. sad. <laughs> Is there anybody else you want to thank at all? Um, all my friends. I mean, everyone from my gym, the Batavia Export, all the trainers there, all were like so supportive. And everybody, even the St. Charles Export, like they all would help me out. So it was really cool. Fantastic. That's good. Things are always made easier with a great support staff, right? Yes. Definitely. Well, hey, I tell you what, we're getting ready to start the night show. She's going to be going up on stage here in a little bit. We're going to find out the results. Best of luck to you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing how all things shake out. So, like Thank I say, you. on behalf of Body More Pros, best of luck to you, Miss Stephanie O'Brien. And this is Adam here at Body More Pros. Like I said, we'll see you in the future. We'll see you guys back in the shows.